top three best-selling vehicles in the United States are the pickup trucks, the class of which is identified as one of the highest CO2 emitters in the automotive industry. The Tesla, along with the dominating pickup manufacturers and startups, is going to enrich their collection with zero-emission, fully electric pickup trucks to help accelerate a sustainable future and set new standards in the industry. The company has recently unveiled its long-awaited, futuristic-looking electric pickup truck which differs from any other models in the market. Instead of a regular body-on-frame construction, the Tesla Cybertruck uses a monocoque construction with a body shell built from an ultra-hard stainless steel. This type of structure is more practical for the battery electric vehicle thanks to its stiffness and weight advantage. The vehicle will be available in three variants, offering a real-world range of 250 to 500 miles. The higher-end version with a three-electric motor, played powertrain, is able to hit 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. The Cybertruck has a starting price of $39,900, but the company has expired its $7,500 federal tax credit in the US, which makes other companies competitive with it. And today, we'll talk about electric pickups that come to accelerate the electric transportation revolution, meanwhile posing competition to the Tesla Cybertruck. US-based automotive startup Rivian received $1.2 billion investment from Amazon and Ford after revealing its full-size R1T electric pickup truck. The company classifies it as an electric adventure vehicle that comes with an impressive all-electric powertrain and special features. The powertrain is based on a slick modular skateboard platform featuring three different choices of high-capacity battery packs to achieve a real-world range of 230 to 400 miles on a full charge. The vehicle is equipped with four electric motors with a 147 kilowatts power capacity at each wheel and the total power output can be configured to different levels, from 300 to 562 kilowatts. The system gives the R1T an incredible ability to control the torque precisely to each wheel, enabling active torque vectoring and maximum performance in every situation, giving the owner's ability to steer the pickup truck almost like a tank. With 3,500 newton meter of grounded torque per wheel, the vehicle with mid-range battery pack variant is able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds losing to the higher-end version of the Tesla Cybertruck by just 0.1 seconds. Besides the incredible performance, the R1T comes with high-tech utility features. The five-passenger vehicle has a ton of enclosed storage space, including a lockable gear tunnel that extends through the entire width of the vehicle, providing more than 350 litres of storage area. The R1T comes with a sleek design featuring iconic, stadium-shaped headlights and a daytime running light that extends the entire width of the front end. The vehicle has a maximum towing capacity of 11,000 pounds and can carry a payload of up to 1,760 pounds. The company uses premium and innovative materials for the inside. Sustainably sourced wood is used throughout the interior, integrating the main center display and driver cluster. The Rivian R1T electric pickup truck has a starting price of $69,000 before incentives in the US and it will be delivered in late 2020. American auto giant Ford has announced its plans to launch an all-electric version of its best-selling F-150 pickup truck. The company that aims at bringing 16 battery electric vehicles to market by 2022 has already unveiled the production version of its first all-electric crossover SUV, the Mustang Mach-E. After making a $500 million investment in Rivian's electric pickup, Ford confirmed that it will use Rivian's flexible skateboard platform to build its own Ford-branded all-electric vehicle. The electric model will be produced alongside the standard F-150 in Ford's main truck plant in Dearborn, Michigan where Ford also plans to produce batteries for the electric F-150. The all-electric prototype of the vehicle has managed to tow over 1 million pounds of train carts, though it was on trails, which requires much less force from the truck than on wheels. 
With an ability to deliver an instant torque to the wheels, the electric version of the vehicle is expected to be the quickest F-150. The battery-powered vehicle will likely share some components with the Mustang Mach-E, but is estimated to feature a larger battery to achieve a range of more than 300 miles. The body-on-frame pickup will have a higher ride height because of the batteries on the chassis. The price and performance details are yet to be announced, but the numbers are assumed to be similar to the metrics of the Rivian R1T. The vehicle is expected to be delivered before 2022. Ohio-based Lordstown Motors that has acquired General Motors' fully equipped 6.2 million square foot Lordstown factory is going to be the first to bring a fully electric pickup truck to market in the fourth quarter of 2020. The company was created by Steve Burns, the founder and former CEO of Workhorse, which is known for its delivery trucks currently being used by UPS as well as plug-in electric W15 pickup truck and an all-electric N-Gen van. The developer of battery electric powertrains plans to use the EV technologies from Workhorse in order to build an all-electric pickup truck called the Endurance. Unlike the Rivian R1T, which has two motors on each axle, the Lordstown Endurance will utilize a four-wheel drive hub motor system, a design that offers motor-in-wheel architecture where electric motors are directly mounted into wheels, reducing the number of moving parts. Thanks to that design, owners will benefit with less breakdowns and overall lower operational costs. The vehicle is able to overcome a distance of at least 250 miles on a full charge and will have a starting price of $52,500 before incentives. Michigan-based electric vehicle startup Bollinger that has been developing a versatile electric truck platform for more than four years has unveiled the latest version of its B2 electric pickup truck, which comes with a simple and rugged design. It has a maximum towing capacity of 7,500 pounds and can carry a payload of up to 5,000 pounds. Driven by two electric motors, one on each axle, for a peak output of 458 kilowatts and 668 pound-feet of torque, the pickup is able to reach 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds. The 120 kilowatt hours battery pack supports a fast charging capability and is estimated to provide a real-world range of more than 200 miles on a full charge. The B2 has foldable and removable body panels, including the doors, windows, roof panels and windshield. But it has a high starting price of $125,000 and is set to be delivered in 2021. General Motors, that aims at bringing 20 EVs to market by 2023, will partner with LG Chem to build their own battery gigafactory in Ohio, which will have 30 gigawatt hours of annual capacity. The companies have plans to develop and produce advanced battery technologies, with the goal of reducing battery costs to industry-leading levels reaching less than $100 per kilowatt hours. That will help significantly reduce the price of the battery electric vehicle, which will be cheaper to produce than the equivalent internal combustion vehicle. Now, General Motors aims to build battery-powered luxury models rather than small, affordable EVs like the Chevy Bolt. The company is going to use a new dedicated EV architecture platform for its luxury SUV under the Cadillac brand and a pickup truck under the brand of GMC. The all-new battery electric truck is expected to be available in the fall of 2021. More information about the specifications and price will be available later. The company is also considering to bring the Hammer brand back as a part of its electrification plans. The electric Hummer pickup will be a low-volume model and is assumed to go into production in late 2021. There are also a number of other companies attempting to break into this market with their all-electric pickup trucks. For example, Nissan has launched a new electric pickup truck through a Dongfeng joint venture in China called the Dongfeng Rich 6 EV. The vehicle is equipped with a single motor powered by a 68 kWh battery pack to overcome a distance of about 180 miles. The specifications are not that impressive 
but the pickup costs just $19,000 after incentives. After its affordable LEAF hatchback, Nissan aims for longer range, big battery EVs with bigger price tags. So we might see a Nissan electric pickup with decent performance in time for Tesla and Rivian to launch their own pickup trucks. California-based EV startup Neuron EV is going to launch its first electric vehicles, the T1 pickup and the Torque semi-truck, which are heavily inspired by the Tesla Semi. The company describes the T1 as an innovative multi-purpose electric utility vehicle, which comes with a sleek and future-forward design. The cabin is shifted forward to enhance driving visibility and optimize interior roominess. The interior is also similar to the Tesla semi-interior with a centered driving seat. The reservations are open, but the specifications and price are yet to be announced. Arizona-based electric vehicle startup Atlas Motors wants to build an electric pickup truck able to be fully charged in just 15 minutes. The company is developing a new XT platform to introduce the prototype of their electric pickup. They claim the vehicle can reach 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds and achieve a range of 300 to 500 miles depending on the battery capacity. It will have a maximum towing capacity of up to 17,000 pounds and can carry a payload of 5,000 pounds. The Atlas XT is expected to have a starting price of $45,000. Which one of these electric pickup trucks would you like to buy? Tell us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos.